In Fearless Tips and Talks, you will find wisdom and strength to overcome fear and anxiety in a world that feeds it. Have you ever wished you had someone to coach you through stress and anxiety? Someone you could just pull out of your back pocket to give you a quick dose of wisdom and encouragement. Now you can. Welcome to this episode of Fearless Tips. I'm your host, Christy Bolwer. I'm about to share one of my most favorite quotes of all time. So lean in and get ready to process this power bomb. In his book, The Anxiety Cure, which is also one of my most favorite books, Archibald Hartzell says, we were designed for camel travel, not supersonic jet behavior. So here's the thing, the world's view of success constantly pushes us to run at supersonic jet speed. And we've got memes just like blasting around us that is just blowing up in our face, talking about hustle harder and never stop running. I mean, it's no wonder why we're trying to win the award of worldly success because there's no other way to do it except run faster, more furious, harder just to go at supersonic jet speeds. And God's way to success requires the speed of a camel, slowing down and listening to and obeying his voice. And we simply cannot do that when we're running so fast and so furious. It is painfully clear that we are in a battle of opposing viewpoints. And this just The stats of anxiety disorder, I mean, they are going up and up and up. It's alarming to know that 46% of Americans will meet the criteria for a diagnosable mental health condition at some point in their life. And half of those people are going to develop the condition by the age of 14. (sighs) We have to pause. We've got to pause right there for just a hot second because what this means is our children may develop a diagnosable mental health illness by the age of 14. This is alarming. It should stop you. It should make you go, what should we do about this? It is projected that 42.5 million Americans will be diagnosed with anxiety disorders. Times Man, they are changing and anxiety levels are soaring. Today's average high school student carries the same level of anxiety as the average psychiatric patient did in the early 1950s. Anxiety is building with every decade. And I'm sorry, I think we need to pause again and process the awfulness of that observation, of that statistic that I just read to you. A psychiatric patient in the 1950s, someone hospitalized to treat their mental illness, experiences the same degree of anxiety our high school students commonly live with today. That is not okay. And on my watch and for my family and for for the future of the next generation, I want to do something to help change that. So here is your fearless tip for today. Hurry is not a badge of honor. The speed in which we run at life is causing unnecessary anxiety. In Bible times, the fastest form of travel was a camel. And now we're literally flying on jets to get places. And I'm not anti-jet or anti-planes, but I am trying to get you to just realize, is this supersonic jet speed that we're traveling at, is it worth it? And is there something we could do about it? What if we slowed down? What if we took time to breathe and not let the hustle and bustle of life take us down. Let me pray for you. Father, whoever might be listening right now that might feel that sweet conviction of maybe God trying to say, slow down, sister, slow down, brother. You need to breathe. You need to take time to care for yourself. Father, I pray that they would take that prompting seriously and they would do something about it, Father, that they would try to rework their schedule, redefine their level of success, realize that hurry is not a badge of honor. And Father, help us slow down. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to pray 
prioritize time with you and breathing in silence and solitude, God. Help us to know that when we unplug, we can plug into you, Father, and we need to hear your voice more than ever. Help us to process the terrible statistics of anxiety that are happening in our world right now and help us to do something. Help us to be the change. Help us to make a lasting impact, Father, and help us to be still and know that you are God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. If you found this to be helpful, you can find out so much more in my book, Nervous Breakthrough. And guess what? Right now you can order it on Amazon. All you need to do to get the information is go to fearlessunite.com. Also, can you do something for me? Will you help us get the word out about this podcast? I would be so honored if you would share it with your loved ones, rate it, review it, and also be sure to subscribe. And lastly, And I really mean this. We want to hear from you. If you have suggestions or ideas on something that I should cover or a tip that you'd really like help on, please send us an email, podcast at fearlessunite.com. Again, that's podcast at fearlessunite.com. Thank you so much for listening.